Merry Christmas, everybody. As president of the Quahog Chamber of Commerce, I'd like to thank the Senior Center for decorating our tree. <laughs> oh, broke my hip. Hey, I'm on vacation. Happy birthday, Jesus. Seven major milk and six major milk and five major milk. Oh, I love shopping at Christmas time. Ugh, mall food courts are so depressing. You can always tell which fathers are disappointed in their sons because they eat lunch with their coats still on. How's that food, dum-dum? Too bad eating ain't math, because then I'd have something to be proud of. I want to go live with Mom. I know. So do I. <sighs> Brian, tape this for me. Ooh, sorry, the VCR hasn't worked since you tried to tape Monday Night Football. Do you have the express written consent of ABC Sports and the National Football League? Just ABC. I am so excited to see Santa Claus. You know what I think is really wonderful? Of all the malls in this great country of ours, he chooses to come here year after year. You know, I mean, who, who are we? You know, I'll tell you who we are, the lucky ones. Well, if you get us a tree, I'll make sure Santa brings you a new VCR, please. Ah, oh, crap. How come I, commercial. Hey, sorry to bother you, but would you like to work here? Me? Yeah, you'd be perfect. All right, now let me just take off these security tags for you. It's a living. So random. That's a comment on us. Here's your tree. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, shut the hell up. Ah, uh, before you sit down, we'll do it Joe and Bonnie's for eggnog. Uh, Lois, can't we tell them that your mother died? Peter, I'm not gonna lie about something like that. All right, all right, I'll kill your mother. God, when did Christmas become so complicated? All right, all right. Hey, somebody give me a beer. Heads up. Yeah, Peter, one of us has to be the designated driver, and I've already had four eggnogs, so I guess you're it. <laughs> That's a good one, Joe. <laughs> Way to get into the spirit. <laughs> I'm a cop first and a buddy second, so don't think I wouldn't throw your drunk driving ass in the slammer. <laughs> All right, let's a wassle. Well, Peter's been doing his best, but lately he seems more focused on marketing his erotic advent calendar. All right, kids, let's see what's under Christmas. Oh, another puckered anus. Constant surveillance of every child on Earth. Impossible! Unless... Hidden cameras. Oh, very clever. Watching to see if I'm naughty, are you? Well, check this twice! Now we gotta go to the back of the line. What the hell? Why isn't it moving? I don't know. It's always the same thing. Some fat kid sitting on Santa's lap taking all day. <laughs> and I want a child's in charge lunchbox, and I want a magna doodle, and a new Uno game on it because I lost the draw two card. And I want a pet animal that's half chinchilla and half mink, because it'd be really soft, and I could call it chink, and that's okay. Now, come on, I gotta go to freaking Toys for Toddlers. Sounds like somebody's got a humbug up his butt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe we should set him up with another lemon snow cone, eh? Oh, thanks. The last one you gave me didn't taste like lemon at all. It tasted like... Oh, you guys are ashes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tommy Bahama. Yeah, you got anything for a poor fat person who wants to look like a rich fat person? Of course. Now, I'll mostly be hitting on waitresses who are too young and thin to ever be interested in me. Hitting on them in a kindly, genial way? No, in a threatening, creepy, I'm joking, but I'm not really joking way. Y you have anything for that? Sir, what you're describing is precisely Mr. Bahama's vision. Tommy Bahama. Five million uncles can't be wrong. Now, Stewie, you are in my power. No! Oh, no, damn you! Damn you, let me go! Ah, ah. Good, Melvin. Nice work, Woodrow. Excellent, Stewie. Ah. Oh, just a dream. Oh, that sucks. Sorry, Stewie. That son of a bitch. He just turned his back on me. The way reality turned its back on Gary Busey. How am I doing today, Gary Busey? You're doing great! Good! Then I'll keep it up! Oh, wow, this is awesome! You know Jeff Garland has one of these in his house. Ah, I love this chair. Dog in a Jets jersey, get in here! God, I have the best basement. Peter, this chair costs $3,000. That's not so much, Lois. It's only infinity times what you bring home every week. I needn't fear this Santa. If he were truly omnipotent, he'd have the testicular fortitude to show himself!
See? I'm just barking in the dark. No one here but me. All right, where is it? Where's the wire? Show yourself, Klaus. Dewey, go to sleep. This doesn't involve you, Lewis. Hey, you want to hear a real live action fart instead of one of those fake cartoony ones? We're gonna need another pair of pants and another chair. Yeah, I've never been one to hold grudges. I even forgave the man who murdered my son. And although I will never get over the pain of what you did to my son, I forgive you because I believe you are sick and in need of help. Mr. Griffin, this is the Office of City Planning. You requested a variance to build a hot tub off your garage? Oh, yeah. Did I get it? No. I will kill your son! Your son is dead! All. Peter, only one gift was for charity. The rest were for the family. No, the rest were from the family. Weren't, weren't they? Ah, oh, crap. Since when did they change the meaning of for to from? I think they had a meeting about it last night. Why wasn't I told? Well, they sent you a card, but it said for Peter on it, so you must have thought it was from you, so you, you didn't, uh... You know, it's just easier to call you stupid. Well, you know, you know why nothing works out for you, Brian? Because you've got a negative attitude, like Eeyore. Come on, Eeyore, let's go play. I don't feel like it. Why are you always in such a bad mood? I have a nail in my anus. Oh. Don't worry, Lois, I swear I'll be sensitive and gentle, like the Tasmanian devil tucking in his kids. Now, here's a plan. You'll enter through the air conditioning duct here. Now, there'll be an invisible laser grid three inches above the floor, so you'll have to compress your body to the size of an ordinary household sponge and slide underneath like some kind of weird amphibious dolphin. Can I buy some pot from you? As long as I've got all you people watching, does anyone want to buy some pot? <laughs> A lot of scumbags out today. Dang it, Buck. It's my turn to use the sex box. It's my sex box. And her name is Sony. So, what are we hauling, good buddy? Oh, I got a flock of birds that were too tired to fly back north. Boy, this is the way to do it, huh, Jerry? Sure is. Think this makes us lazy? Nah, we're still in the V-shape. I could give you anything you want. Anything? Like, like anything in the universe? Absolutely. Rookstone massage chair. Really? Are, are you sure? Yep, never been more sure of anything in my life. Well, except one thing. Good evening, sir. Would you like to hear our specials? No! Pizza! You sure about this, Peter? You bet. As sure as I was when I created Lady Gaga. All right, listen, fella. Your game is confusion. Zip, zam, zoop. Nobody gets a straight look at nothing. We now return to Bob Hope's Christmas with the Troops. Hey, it's good to see you Union boys. I would have been here sooner, but Lincoln gave me the wrong Gettysburg Address. <laughs> and, and how about this having to sit still for 60 seconds to have your picture taken? How about that? Now for a slippy, no boots run through the snow to my car. Crap, I just pulled a thousand muscles. Oh, hey there. You having some car troubles, eh? Yeah, we're trying to get to the North Pole. I don't suppose you're from AAA, are you? Who? AAA, you know? AAA. Oh, AAA, eh? Hey, I just came from AA. No, not AA, AAA. Yeah, that's what I said. AA, eh? Oh, so you are with AAA? Oh, no, that's AAA. I just came from AA, eh? Huh? Stewie, I think he's just a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Oh, that was a loud crack. Oh, yeah, that was all bone. Oh, oh, son of a whore. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. I'm not going to go to the doctor, though. Oh, a car won't take you there anyway. But if you like, you can take my snowmobile. Really? You just give it to us? Oh, sure. That's what Canadian hospitality is all about. If you like, you can have all my money and my leg.
Okay. Now let's open your presents, kids. Oh, Rupert, you're such a sneak. I wonder what it is. Oh, a Joni Mitchell CD. To continue your emotional education. That's great. <laughs> That's really great. Could you excuse me for just one moment? Why'd we take his leg? Well, we're in their country, Brian. We have to observe their customs. Oh, oh dear. Well, at least we're done with the first leg of our journey, Brian. Ha! Damn right, huh? How dare he say such blasphemy? I've got to do something! Bob, there's nothing you can do. <sighs> well, I guess I'll just have to develop a sense of humor. Look, Stewie, now that we have a moment, I, I think we should really try to call Lois and tell her where we are. Oh, don't worry. I've got that covered. Hey, Lois, would you make an appointment for me to be neutered in two days? But are you sure, Brian? Yes, I'm sure. And whatever I say in two days, do not let me convince you that I've changed my mind. Wow, you sound pretty serious about this, Brian. Oh, I am. It was a moving scene today at Hatch Pond, as six members of the Pawtucket Fire Department struggled valiantly to save the life of a fish trapped under the frozen ice. Rescue workers managed to get the fish out of the water, but unfortunately, it died shortly after. Shut your fat mouth! You all think Christmas just happens. You think all this goodwill just falls from the freaking sky. Well, it doesn't! It falls out of my holly jolly butt! So you can cook your own damn turkey, wrap your own damn presents, and hey, while you're at it, you can all ride a one-horse open sleigh to hell! Ah! <laughs> Lois, there's no presents under the tree. Mr. Weed, distinguished members of the board, may I present this year's hottest toy, Mr. Zucchini Head. He's got stupid cool hip hop style with his little hat and his dark mountains. Uh, thank you, Peter. That's enough. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the best part. He dances. Well, I've seen oh, enough. Appropriate. I haven't had sex in four years. Joe, did you get any Christmas presents? No. Me neither. I got eight mediocre things. Good morning, Cohog. Our top story today, Santa Claus skips Christmas. Hopeful citizens worldwide woke up to disappointment this morning when they discovered no gifts from Santa under their Christmas trees. Local officials are going with the theory that everyone was bad this year. He never misses a meal. I better go check on him. Yeah, good idea. I better check on my hairless twin in the storm shed. Close the door! The moonlight burns! It's almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas. Christmas? Yes. Keep being good, and all the eggshells and coffee grounds will be yours. Can I meet the family? You've overstepped. No Christmas! <laughs> Mr. Griffin, do you have any evidence that is not based on film or television? I don't know. Why don't you ask all these letters to Santa Claus? Something's going on. We haven't gotten mail in a week. I, I haven't gotten mail in a week. Nobody writes you. This can't be it. This can't be Santa's workshop. This looks like Bridgeport, Connecticut. Oh boy, get ready for the letters. Dear family guy bastards, who the hell do you think you are? I'll have you know that Bridgeport is among the world leaders in abandoned buildings, shattered glass, boarded up windows, wild dogs, and gas stations without pumps. So eat my Wait, what, what, what are you doing? Did you just eat that whole cookie off the mantel? What, they left it out for Santa. We're Santa. Yeah, but you're not supposed to eat all of it. You take a bite and a sip of milk. That's how the kids know Santa was here. Don't yell at me. I'm not yelling at you. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm telling you how it's done. They, they need some kind of indication that Santa was here. Oh, okay, how about this? Look, hey, now they know he was here. See? Stop it! I have decided to change my will and name my grandson Chris the sole heir to the Pewterschmidt fortune. Oh, what? My. Oh, no, my hairless twin got out. Hello, family. Let's eat all the garbage we want. Merry Christmas, buddy. Huh. Wonder what this could be. Oh. This Christmas rocks! Mom, Stewie's opening his gifts. Mom? Oh, it's okay, Meg. Your mom's just full of Christmas cheer and enough tranquilizer to bring down a bull elephant. Son, son, I, I told you. Out here in the wilderness, call me Rooster Cogburn. You know, Rooster, I was starting to think you didn't like me anymore. Shh, Chris, look. Tracks. There must be a deer around here. Well, those are snowmobile tracks. Shh, 
There he is. Ah, such grace. Yeah, it just wouldn't be Christmas without your parents. Oh, I dropped my watch. Peter, would you be a sport and fetch it for me? Sure thing, Mr. Pewterschmidt. <laughs> Peter, we've got to put that out. <laughs> Good shot. Made my brown eye blue with that one. Yeah, next one's coming for your head. Oh, no. No help. Oh, help. What the hell? Now is the winter of your discontent. Look at me. Look at me. I'm smoking. Dog. Dog, look. Look. The Family Guy Christmas Special, brought to you by Lincoln. Lincoln, what are we doing? I'll put the Kanye canes in the stockings. You know, it's just like, you know, music and fashion, all that. You know, I can't be stopped. Whatever I do, you know, I just want to be the best because the best is never enough. Mark Zuckerberg promised he'd give me $50 million, fam, but then he welts and I'm penniless. Kanye is the greatest. Kanye drops the latest. There can be no debaters, and Kanye got the status. Do you want an excuse to not go home this Christmas? Then fly Northwest Airlines. At Northwest Airlines, thousands of employees are dedicated to delaying and canceling flights so you won't get home for the holidays. No way I'm getting you on your connecting flight. No way we're taking off on time. Don't worry, I'm taking this flight back to the gate. Do you think Jeff will make it home this year? No way, because Jeff flew Northwest. Thanks, Northwest. I hate my family. Dad's car is coming! He's coming fast. He can't wait to see us. Get out of the road, you idiots. And he's headed right to the bar. The clam's on the other side of town. He went out of his way to do this. Oh, that looks great. You know, I think this is going to be our best Christmas ever. Yeah, but don't get your hopes up, Lois. I couldn't afford to get you what I got you last year. I know how you like that song, so I got you two turtle doves. Where'd you get these? I went to a scientist and had them genetically engineered. Fly, beautiful turtle doves. Bring Christmas cheer to all. <laughs> Everybody outside! We'll do the rest of Christmas outside! Go, go, go! We now return to Twas the Night Before Christmas, as read by Norm MacDonald. Twas the Night Before Christmas. Wait, wait, twas? What's twas? Is that short for it was? What kind of rush are you in, man? You can't just say it was. Oh, you saved a lot of time there, fella. Oh, don't come at me with that it was stuff. I got things to do. Look, Stewie, I'm hanging the ornament you made at preschool. Just hang it up. Why do you have to narrate everything you do? You got a date. Yeah, just hope it goes better than my last one. Wow, Joseph, that was great. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. When you said I could do you in your mud hut, I thought you meant something else. Can't believe how hard you're making me work. Well, I do have a very good virginity coach. No, no, no. Okay, I think I got it. How's this? No, no, no. No, no, no. Well, I gotta get home. Every year we gather around and play Oh Holy Night from our favorite holiday album, A Very Slow Christmas with Peebo Bryson. I am the ghost of Christmas past. Oh, hello. I am here to show you how you lost your way. Um, oh, okay. Uh, how long is this gonna take? I don't know. Maybe eight minutes? Okay, hang on. I, I just gotta use the bathroom. Well, I suppose I better get out of here before that over-enthusiastic group of carolers makes their way in here. Have you heard the story that they're telling about Bethlehem? Have you heard, Have you heard the story of the Jesus child? Ah, uh, too late! Let's head out the back! How he came from heaven and was born in a manger bed. To the windows! Mary was his virgin mother, pure and mild. Oh my God, they got Quagmire! Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, worship the Jesus child and praise his mother, mild.
Coming this holiday season, it's Star Blizzard. Using laser technology to shower your home in a blizzard of dazzling lights. So much easier than stringing Christmas lights. I can light up my whole house for just pennies a day. I looked into it and now I'm blind. Honey, the house looks great. Who's there? Hey, Frank, could you turn that off? My cat's freaking out. Who's that now? I don't know voices yet. I'm new blind. Star Blizzard, happy holidays and just don't look into it. Pete, are you finally home? Yep, just in time to watch Patrick Swayze's Christmas in Wonderland. Well, before you sit down, I just need you to do a couple things. Okay, first, I need you to take down last year's Christmas lights and put up this year's Christmas lights. Then I need you to get the eggnog cups out of the attic and bump your head on a low eave. After that, take my cousins to the airport and pick up my other cousins at a different farther away airport. <laughs> I am the ghost of Christmas present. Wait, you haven't gone yet? No. Okay, here we go. Sorry, this is turning into something else. Then shovel and salt the walk. Then shovel and salt the driveway. Then shovel and salt Mrs. Whitaker's driveway. She's 96 and has no one to help her. We need four netted bags of cinnamon pine cones. Get the bags at Hobby Lobby and the pine cones at Pier 1. Next, inflate the giant snowman and put it on our front lawn. The pump's broken, so you'll have to do it by mouth. Then it's just laundry, take out the trash, and move the house a little bit to the left. So, you guys are going to Bethlehem, huh? I went there one time on a donkey's night out. Oh my god, I got so hammered. Wow, I can't believe we're already here. Yeah, it's amazing how small the world is now, thanks to mules and camels. You're anywhere, just like that. Hey, where are we? Peter. You've lost your Christmas spirit, so I'm taking you on a journey to Christmas Pass to find it. Oh, wow. Th this is my old house from when I was a little kid. That's right, Peter. I've taken you all the way back to the year 1970-80-90. I'll never forget that year when President Richard Reagan Clinton lied to the American people. All right, kids, gather around. Time to make our yearly terrible call to Great Aunt Helen. Hello? Hi, Aunt Helen. It's Peter, Lois, and the whole family. We're calling to Peter's say Merry Lois Christmas. What? We, we were just Are you calling to. Here? Hey, hey, that's me. Look how skinny I am. Yay, it's Christmas! And I made your favorite peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Wow, these are all for me? Of course, Petey. It's Christmas. Everything's for you. Yay! Cookies at 7 a.m. Thank you, careless parents. I'm gonna eat them and hum. <laughs> what well, we just wanted to. Air, dear? Damn it! So how was the? Have a cold. The pond throws over a family of raccoons. All right. Have well, Merry air, Christmas. Dear? Merry Christmas, Peter. He could still talk then. I wonder what happened to him. I gotta go! I gotta go! Hold it in! 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 Ghost house. Road house. Ghost road. House house. Road ghost. Hey, you guys, this says a king of kings will be born in Bethlehem, and we are to go and pay tribute. Hey, let me see that. This says three magi or resident. I don't think they really care if it's us. Yeah, I don't want to go either. Hey, isn't your mother-in-law visiting tomorrow? We're off to Bethlehem. What is this? Are we still in the past? No, this is the present. And I just want you to see that not everyone in Quahog has lost the Christmas spirit. Christmas! What's this? Cold! Why? Bad! Oh! You sure this is the right way? Yes, I'm sure. We follow the star. Are you sure that's a star? We've had this conversation. Yes, it's a star. It's got flashing red lights. Oh, my God. It is a plane. I said that yesterday, you stupid idiot. Ho, ho, ho. Thank you, Santa. 
Daddy! You missed Santa! He was right here! <laughs> That's a beautiful story, Peter, about people coming together to form something greater than themselves. Yes, can I help you? Hi, we're from out of town and our car just broke down. My wife's in labor. Can we use your phone? What? No! Peter, who is it? A couple of freaking scumbags working some scam saying how they want to use our phone. What? Do they want all the presents under the tree, too? Get rid of them! <laughs> wow, no wonder I don't see Cleveland until New Year's. Oh my god, they got Joe. Have you heard the story that they're telling about Bethlehem? Have you heard the story of the Jesus child? They're not gonna do that, are they? Dad, shut the door. It's freezing. Please, you've gotta help us. You're lucky it's Christmas or I'd call the cops on you dirty grifters. Now you and your whole wife, get out of here. Peter, you handled that perfectly. Merry Christmas, Lois. Please, we're begging you. I'm getting the baseball bat. Oh, they're just pretending to have fun. I'm sure they miss me. We should probably call Dirt. You mean Dad? No, the fat guy who sleeps with Mom. You guys talking about Dirt? We now return to Home Alone with Competent Robbers. Hey, be careful. There's cars on the floor here. Thanks. That's weird, huh? Yeah, the doorknob was really hot, but I just let go instead of holding onto it. And there's some ice on the stairs to the basement, so I guess just don't go down there. I finally had the guts to leave her. Good for you, Peter. What about the kids? How are they doing? See for yourself. All right, everybody, I'm off to Colombia. Chris got into Colombia? South America, where I will attempt to smuggle drugs back into the country in my rectum. Yeah, I knew there was some kind of rug pull coming. And I'm off to Yale. The lockmaker? The lockmaker, where I have a minimum wage job. All right, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ahead of these. Best thing about the Quahog Mall is going into Tiffany's and doing everything possible to make them think I might actually buy something. Oh, this is lovely, just lovely. How much is this? $1,200. Great, great. That's all? And, and how late do you open this evening? Until 7. Perfect, perfect. And you accept credit cards and cash? Yes. You died from a fire started by your MILF on a shelf. Want to see some pictures of my teenagers? No, Karen. Look, I haven't watered my Christmas tree for a few weeks now, so could you watch your really long cigarette, please? Did I tell you I went to the mall with my daughter and an employee thought we were sisters? Yes, many times. Now, the groomsmen's names are Blake, Hayden, Edgar, Blake D, Elliot, Milo, Cooper. Why aren't you writing any of these down? You're wearing Sparrow wrappers for shoes, sir. There may have been a trade. Oh my God, look, it's my ghost! Not exactly. Ugh, why do I smell so bad? Because I'm a dog fart now. What? Why? Because that's what happens when you lose your Christmas spirit. You spend all of eternity as a dog fart. Was this in the book? Yes, it was an obscure chapter written during Dickens' opium and spoiled lamb phase. Hey, nice outfit. Fancy pair of shoes, too. Do, do, you, do you only use adjectives sarcastically? Great question, smart guy. What the hell? Where's all the decorations? And a big Christmas tree. Oh, look, there's Santa. Peter, no. That's a hell's angel. What do you want? Meth? Okay. Please, Peter, don't lose your Christmas spirit. It's disgusting in there. He eats garbage in his own poo. <laughs> Please, Peter, don't lose your Christmas spirit. This is no life for a person. <laughs> Please, Peter, he ate Lois's trash. There's tampons in there. <laughs> Please, Peter. Keep your Christmas spirit. Please, Peter. This is no life for a person. Please, Peter. I'm the tampon one. No Christmas carnival. Oh, whoever's responsible for this shall suffer my eternal wrath. <laughs> Who's this guy? Tough on selling curly toe shoes. Leave me alone. Why don't you go bother the cologne salesman at Macy's? I want something I can wear on the street that a broad can smell on a fire escape. Wow! It's so beautiful! Isn't it? And you know what's a miracle, kids? Every single snowflake is exactly alike. I don't think that's right. No, it's true. Just like fingerprints. Let's ask that security guard who has everything on his belt except a gun. A excuse me, sir? It's officer. No, it's not. It's barely, sir. Yeah, I know. Where is the Christmas carnival? Cancelled. I don't know why. I'm just a small cog in this operation. Sorry, fun seekers. This hill is close to sledding. 
What? What are you talking about? Too many pansy-ass parents sue the city when their kids sprain a finger or crush their skull on a bumper. I'm afraid sledding has been banned in Quahog. How come every time I'm feeling happy, somebody's got to come along and ruin it? Are you enjoying your coffee, sir? Yeah, it's very smooth. Good flavor. What if we told you that we secretly replaced your coffee with Folgers Crystals? Wouldn't you feel like a dumbass? Because of how you just raved about it just now, you stupid son of a bitch. Folgers, drink us when you've been tricked into it. And I'm not going to let anybody tell me where I can and cannot sled. Yeah, you're right. Power to the people. The whole world is watching. The whole world is watching. What, what just happened? Who cares? Last one down the hill. Oh, my God. Call my mom. I crushed my skull on a bumper. We now return to Miracle on 134th Street. Oh, my God. I left my phone in my car. Wow. It's still there. <laughs> you serious? All this white stuff used to be water? Mm. My word. Some guy named Carter Pewterschmidt. Oh, my God. So I got another guy working on finding out who that is. It's my father. Oh, this is a twist I did not expect. Oh, excuse me. I'm just going to have to hold this out until I'm not surprised anymore. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now since we're white guys doing something stupid, everybody grab a GoPro. Yeah, this is awesome. Up, oh, we're drifting, we're, we're turning, we're turning! Dad, I'm scared! We're backwards! Am I the only one who thinks that now we're at an alarming speed? <laughs> no, 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 I wanna zip it. It's okay, Peter, you're good at other stuff. The nerve of your dad taking the fun out of Christmas like some kind of gluten-free Santa. Hey, hey, what's in these? Uh, I'm okay if it's like coconut flour, but anything with actual grains, I can't do. I'm not sure. Well, who is sure? Dad, look, Santa's here. I want to sit on his lap. Jeez, Chris, come on, you're in high school. I'm going to ask him for a family trampoline. Holy crap, get your ass up there. Are you sure about this, Peter? I mean, I know Stewie was disappointed about the carnival, but he'll get over it. He's a happy, resilient baby. I don't know, Lois. I feel like if we don't do something, Stewie's first words are going to be, why did you kill Christmas? And I want the carnival back, too. You know, I know I'm usually all business, but deep down, you know what the thing is that keeps me going more than anything else? Wonder. A sense of wonder. You know, you're not talking to a little kid anymore, so get the hell out of my face, Santa. I like this suit, and I'm keeping it. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're standing in my strip club spaghetti. I gotta get this home to my family for supper. You better watch out. Well, you have your work cut out for you, Peter. My father's always hated Christmas. Hey, happy June 16th. Well, I'd see how you like it when someone breaks into your house and touches all your stuff. Hey, knock it off! I'm touching this, and this over here, you're a creep is my point. Hey, Peter. Ready to go to Build-A-Bear? What? What are you talking about? I got your text. It says, hey, Joe, cancel your plans. Let's go to Build-A-Bear. I didn't send you a... Oh, son of a bitch, Santa. Joe, I did not send you a text. Well, you sent another text that says, hey, Joe, it's definitely me, Peter, who sent the text. All right, Carter, now you know what's guaranteed to put you in the holiday mood? Write a Christmas letter to all your friends and relatives. And keep in mind, it's traditional to embellish a little bit to make yourself look better. Peter had a great year and is now starting quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars. What? People can easily fact check this. Yeah, who has the time? Keep reading. What do you think, Peter? Maybe a little sun hat for Cindy? Whatever, I'm done with my bear. Let's get out of here. Well, the text you sent earlier would disagree. You said, no matter what I say, I want to build multiple bears. Joe, I swear to you, I do not want to do that. Newsflash, Peter. Looks like you do. Chris refurbished a vintage motorcycle, and Stewie can slam dunk a basketball from a standing start. Uh, Peter, that's impossible. Read what it says about you. Lois's father, Carter Pewterschmidt, bought a small stool for his balls. Damn it, I'm not proud of that! Well, you have to throw in some real facts. That's what gives the newsletter credibility. Would anyone like to lead the family in a holiday prayer? 
I'll tell you who should be saying his prayers. Santa. He messes with me, I mess with him. That's why I replaced one of his flying reindeer with an ordinary non-magical one. Cut it off! Cut it off! <laughs> now everyone knows the best way to get the Christmas spirit is to drink a whole lot of thick, frothy eggnog. So get going. I don't like eggnog. Drink the nog, Carter. I, I don't... I don't wanna. Take it, Carter. Take all the nog. <laughs> no! Yeah, you like that nog. Don't spit the nog out. Now look at the camera for a POV shot. Say thank you with the nog in your mouth. Thank you. What the hell? Hey, Chris, get in here. This is impossible, right? All of Meg's farts here in this box? I would think that's impossible. Yeah, right? That's impossible. Oh, this Christmas carnival has everything. Games, food. Oh, my God, it's the carol is from a Christmas story. Deck the house with boughs of holly. Fa ra 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 ra. Is this the box? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's impossible. I know, it's impossible. Right? Okay, okay, all right, I'm opening it. Unless whoever sent it was magic. Oh, well, now that's interesting. Okay, I know it'll cheer you up. How about you open up one of those Christmas presents? It's from me. Merry Christmas. What the hell? There's a foot in this box. That was supposed to go to somebody else. I'm very sorry. Well, my friends, I think Johnny the Foot Giatelli is dead. Oh, no. They killed Frankie Choo Choo Chinelli instead. And truth is, you weren't the worst Santa. This was the worst Santa. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Oh, and that's another thing. It's ho, ho, ho! Everybody pronounces it wrong. It's very irritating. I don't understand, so I'm angry and hungry. I'm gonna go punch a sandwich. That was a tough sandwich. As tough as your mom's fat face. Hey, leave my mother out of this. That woman stitched gloves till she was 90. I heard she was good with her hands. Nice. Hey, everybody, we got a funny sandwich here. We now return to The Year Without a Santa Claus or Sex. Daddy, where's Santa Claus? I don't know, okay? Should I ask Mom? <laughs> I don't know. She's so busy with her job. And now, Adam West High School Choir's original Christmas song, Die Hard. I see those looks. Yes, the movie was originally released in summer, but it took place on Christmas Eve, which makes it a Christmas film. I guess we don't need this for anything. We now return to the Today Show with Matt Lauer sadly looking in the window. First up, Rachel Ray will be here to help us with a simple Christmas recipe. Can I come back now? Then Al will be in to get you ready with your Christmas travel weather. Are you guys still sore at me? We also share your best tweets about family visitors. I thought about what I did. Yippee-ki-yay! Yippee-ki-yay! That looks heavy. Well, dragging a bin full of decorations down the stairs while repeatedly yelling in front of my children means only one thing. It's Christmas time. So, Christmas, huh? You guys must be excited. <clears throat> Ugh, not at all. It's always disappointing. Just a reminder of how truly lonely I am. Hey, Seamus, my man. Oh, hello. Allow me to introduce you to my son, Woody. Hey, Woody. Hey, he's going to be a new character on the show. You're barely a character on the show. More than Woody. Okay, guys, now before you can shop at a strip mall, you have to use the freestanding ATM that's chained to a pole and not affiliated with any known bank. Good. It's taken an extra long time to read the card and probably stealing the number. Select yes to pay $15 fee. No brainer. Perfect. Now I can't read the screen because the glare is so bad. And it's not giving me my card back. Hello? Yes, this is Peter Griffin. Not anymore? Well, thanks for telling me. Meg, there's a lot I have to get done here, so I need you to take Stewie to the mall to meet Santa. Okay, sure. Great. Now, why don't you go warm up the car for your little brother? She's gone. Quick, let's take the picture for the Christmas card.
I sent the wrong picture to Walgreens. Look, there's a card in a nice paper store. Let's go walk around it slowly and let out tiny farts. Hmm, nice thick card stuck. Ah, yes, that's a very bright white. Ooh, Century Gothic font. Miss, this store is for tiny farts only. There's a lids next door for that sort of thing. <coughs> What's wrong, little boy? Don't be scared of Santa. Come on, Stewie, it's okay. Just sit on Santa's lap. Ugh, some people push their kids to do stuff way too soon. Do you agree, Dr. Baby Violin? I really do. We now return to CBS This Morning with Charlie Rose sadly pressed against the window. Coming up this morning, Christmas came early for a group of first graders in South Bend, Indiana. You guys still cross with me? What is... what just happened? I'll have what she's having. Okay. She had six well-done hamburger patties jammed into a hard taco shell. Oh, I just want to feel like that. Okay, I mean, I can get it for you, but it's a weird order. The chef was not happy about it. <gasps> Peter, you did get a tree. Oh, it's beautiful. I sure did, Lois, because I love you and I love this family. Oh, Peter. 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 Peter! Peter! Peter Griffin, what the hell is going on here? Uh-uh, huh? Wait, what? <sighs> What was going on in here? The windows are steamed up like when Subway's making the bread. Hey, what's going on in here? We're making the bread, sir. Good. Now get back to making sandwiches with the shiniest turkey on earth. Subway, have it your way if your way is very wet. Peter, you were all supposed to take the weight of the holidays off my shoulders for once and you failed. You all failed. Brian, you're supposed to be responsible. Bad dog. Bad. <laughs> Damn it! And who got candy cane all over the couch? <laughs> Just look at the picture! Wow. Okay. Uh, Stewie, I think I know what happened. I can't tell you explicitly since we're owned by Disney, but let me just say that Santa made her Little Mermaid Moana. Oh! Exactly. Brian, would you hand me the fat man's fancy puking hat? <laughs> Well, 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 the crown. How the tables have turned. Remember this face, the one that wanted to watch Modern Family? Well, payback's a bitch. Delete! Are you sure you want to delete the crown? Yes! Do you understand that it's really good? Yes! <laughs> God, this hat is deep. Now there's my hat, kids. I'm off to the opera. This opera stinks. Come on, we've got to visit Santa at another mall. I can't go back to Santa, man. I can't. Hello again. Hi. That's the guy that was peeing in the women's bathroom. Are you sure? It will impress your friends. Except you understand that we change the cast every season. Acknowledge. Come on, it's the crown. It's history. Don't care. You are not allowed to delete the crown. How much longer is this going to take? I don't know, 400 minutes? One reason I work as a seasonal elf is I'm not great at time estimates. Next. See? 400 minutes. Even a broken clock is right six times a day. We now return to the crown. I actually kind of love it. Yeah, me too. It's because I'm trash and I love how fancy it is. Where is he? <laughs> He's a phony! A great big phony! Excuse me, ma'am. I'm gonna give you just 600 minutes to get out of here. But you don't understand. One, two, 600 minutes. That's it. Security! What took you so long? Let me go! Okay, calm down. Now, I know your mom's gone, and we're a little worried, but Daddy's got a plan. All right. Everybody go outside and kneel face first in front of Daddy's big pre-dug hole. Come on, Peter. We can do this. Lady, by the power vested in me by Paul Blart, you are now banned from this mall and every mall in this county. Uh. Wow, looks like that baby is all wet. <laughs> Classic Woody. <laughs> this is Woody. 
Hey kids, don't be left out this Christmas. Top your wish list with the toy of the season, Happy Asking Panda. Made in China, Happy Asking Panda has many questions for you. What is your favorite color? What is your parents' political affiliation? What is your approximate household income? All of these questions and so many more. <clears throat> ho, ho, ho. Santa? Is that really you? Sure is. Well, how'd you get in? Through the window. It was just unlocked? Like anybody can just come through my window at any time? I really don't like Forget it. Forget about that. I know you're having a tough time, and I just wanted to tell you that everything is fine. His eyes light up when he's happy, or when credit cards are held in front of him. Hold Happy Asking Panda over the keyboard while entering passwords and watch him dance. I love you, Happy Asking Panda. Upload complete. Order today and it will arrive for Happy American Christmas and Time of Wonder. Children of American government employees get 20% off. I want a new dog. What's wrong with the dog you have? Eh, he's okay. I just, I just want a new one. Maybe you can spend more time with the old one before you make any decisions. Nah, want a new one. Thanks, Santa. Can you leave from the door? I'm kind of freaking over the window thing. Sure. Oh my god, Santa! I want a new dog! Oh, come on! Of course I'm serious! I'm a child and I just saw a commercial! Well, maybe you don't want me to have a happy American Christmas. Of course I do. But do you really not see that you're crassly manifesting the very consumerism on which Christmas is built? Chris, can you please put the dog out? Yes, sir! <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Wait, are you sure you're the real Santa Claus? Yes, I'm the real Santa Claus. I'm totally real, so don't tell anyone about this and don't say anything to anyone. Merry Chris! Damn it. Okay, now to light the Christmas tree by telling this child's toy my mother's maiden name, Abernathy. front yard family snowball fight when I was there. Oh, and now the local news is there. Hello, I'm Tom Tucker. This just in, husband does what wife normally does, comma, makes headlines. Oh, okay, I get it. Everybody pile on the one person who actually sees the truth about Christmas. You know, you guys know all what this holiday is all about, right? It's all about this. The world's smallest violin? A scrotal massage? Ah, oh, just like in the old country. We're more word people than gesture people. Now they're standing hand in hand? It's like they've never been happier. Wait, what's Peter saying? I love you. I mean, like, do not even get me started on Christmas caroling. No, go ahead, I'm listening. No, that's, that's what I mean. I do not get me started. Trust me, you, you will be here all night. I've got time. I'm officially getting you started. Name one thing. <sighs> Also in distorted slow motion to emphasize my horror. I love you too, Dad. Whew, I mean, where do I start? Like the, the things I have to say about caroling, it's like, how long have you got? I've got all night, no one to go home to. Let's hear it. Yeah, okay. Well, if, I mean, first, there's the, you know, the singing. Eh. You know what? Screw you guys. <laughs> Hey, what do you think this is? A lids? Lids. Come get a camouflage Nyx hat and let one rip. Find us in the corner of the mall where all the lights are going on and off. Ah, now I want a Slim Jim. Slim Jim, anyone? Slim Jim? Never Google what's in it? Slim Jim? I knew this would work, especially after that last flight I took. Spirit Airlines is now boarding group whatever. Just start punching until you're on an airplane. And now to ruin Christmas. Who left all these dirty dishes out? Okay, much better. I'm not even gonna think about the grocery situation. Now then, can I speak to your dog who hates Christmas? Ho, ho, ho! Who have we got here? Can I interest anyone in a candy cane? None for me, thanks. Ho, 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 okay, your loss. Uh, after all, it is the world's most dangerous candy. The more you eat it, the sharper it gets, but it's worth stabbing your own mouth for a sweet that tastes like toothpaste. I, I mean, season's greetings! <gasps> okay, ruined Christmas. Here we go. 
Don't even care if they transfer the wet clothes from the washer to the dryer. Oh, you see? Eggs, I know it. I know it. In, in fact, you came to the right guy. I was briefly McGruff's sidekick. Ah, that's Jenny. But that's not Jenny's dad. No, sir. If she gets into that car, that may be the last time you'll see Jenny. Yep. I'm McGruff, the crime dog. And I'm Sergeant Bark, because I bark at crime. God, I hate being alone during the holidays. Wait. Hello, Joan. My name is Glenn Quagmire. I'm just calling to see if I have a payment due on my Discover card. What? No, I'm not alone on Christmas. I'll have you know I'm actually here with my very large family. Well, uh, prove it by telling you my children's real names that don't sound like I made them up in a panic? So until I get some answers, as mayor, I'm officially canceling Christmas in Quahog. Canceling Christmas? Now we'll never know what's behind the last box on the M&M advent calendar. It's M&M's, Peter. They've all been M&M's. You don't know that! You ate my whole family, you fat bastard. One more day. Uh, uh, Bluefus and Clunt. Look, there's kids, okay? Oh, wait, you don't believe me? Bluefus, that face was irreplaceable. Oh, boy, Joan, I'm gonna have to let you go. Wait, you think I was the one who knocked over that vase? How dare you, madam? Oh, now Clunt's acting up. Don't have kids, Joan. It's a big mistake. Merry Christmas. <laughs> No way! No way! You didn't even hide the evidence? Brian Griffin, you are under arrest. <gasps> Just for destroying public property and fleeing the scene of the crime? Why are we not leading with drunk driving? What happened? Peter, I think we've been robbed. <gasps> I can't believe it! They stole the presents, they stole the decorations, they even stole our tree! I want my presents! Okay, let's just settle down. Everybody kneel in the backyard in front of Daddy's big pre-dug hole. Hey, Brian, sorry about the sling. I got shot by an M&M. Anyway, how's Christmas Eve in jail? You know what? It's great. At least it keeps me away from all the phony joy and crass commercialism. Well, it's good to see you haven't lost your lack of spirit. Well, it certainly is great seeing you, Brian. Hey, guys. Unfortunately, visiting hours end at 1014. Ah, oh, ah, oh, it's like we just got here. Ah. Oh. You know, Peter, this never would have happened if you hadn't gotten rid of that ring doorbell camera. Ah, uh, someone crapped on the porch again. I'm checking the footage. <laughs> Whoever it was probably had no choice, is my guess. Their family was probably using all the bathrooms. That's probably what happened. Whoever did that. Huh. Looks like Stewie got that toy he wanted. So, Mom, who are these cousins you were in Mexico with? Oh, you know, just... My cousins. Which ones? Yeah, Mom, prove it by telling us cousin names that don't sound like you made them up in a panic. Of course I can do that. My good, close cousins, Bluefus and Clunt. In fact, I think I hear them upstairs right now. Oh, Brian, it's good to have you back. It wasn't Christmas without you. I'm happy to be back. And I'm happy to have my tennis ball. <laughs> Mag, Lois, you got any more passwords? The panda loves them. Oh, no, Clunt, that was Stewie's aquarium with the fish you have to feed so damn much and they basically always die anyway. Friggin' Clunt, man. Blowfast, put down Peter's pills that came in a discreet box. Gotta go. Blowfast. Blowfast! The Griffin assets, sir. At last. Seventeen dollars? The bear cost twenty-three to make. Oh, no. Can't rob America if America's broke. Merry Christmas, everyone. We now return to Tony Bennett's Half-Asleep Christmas Spectacular. A jingle, 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 jingle bear. <laughs> Tony! Fa la 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 Coming up on Tony Bennett's Half Asleep Christmas Spectacular, a duet with Willie Nelson. Oh, fudge. Only I didn't say fudge. I said From all of us at Family Guy. We wish you Christmas joy. May all your wishes now come true. For every girl and boy. We hope your freaking holidays are filled with fun and cheer. So have a Merry Christmas and... <laughs> 
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our national anthem, performed this afternoon by Peter Griffin and his dirt bike. <laughs> Smash that like button.